This is the S&P 500 one day reading for March 14th, 2022. It's currently March 4th, 2022. The time is 3.08 a.m. The overall behavior and theme for the day is a significant trade opportunity to cash in, make some money, uh, possibly open some new investments as well. Um, there's a there's a notable breakout that popped out clear uh, clear kinetically. Um, in the pre market, we have a, uh, a move up through resistance to successfully create support maybe momentarily successful um, that remains to be seen uh, an important price levels highlighted right around the open um, and we have uh, okay so in the pre-market we move higher along uh, move higher through resistance successfully creating new support out of that resistance um, and then we move sideways from the open uh, through 10 a.m. Uh, with some sideways rotation along uh, support level, but then between roughly 10 and 11, we take a, a prominent move to the upside. It continues uh, through to 12 o'clock. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, um, a female leader is highlighted. Uh, there's some sideways fluctuation with a downward trend and that uh, will and that downward trend is appearing just prior to a bullish trend. So, OK, so da sideways fluctuation um, with a downward trend between 12 and one turns into roughly between one and two, a more significant flight to safety an even more significant decline. Uh, between two and three and then between three and four uh, we see some sideways fluctuation with a bullish uh, bullish trend in the post market uh, op oh wow significant fall guys something hidden comes to light in the pre-market and there's a significant drop overnight uh, the behavior around the high we're gonna have a sudden fast move higher out of a decline marking the end of the decline and that's sudden fast move higher will will be uh will form the day's high or the day's crests um and then the low the lows are gonna form near the completion of bullish trends so that says to me like significant move to the upside guys early on notable drop like I said, and then we have some moving higher into the end of the day. Uh, the following day, so the 15th sneak preview is a significant amount of volatility. And for, for the 14th, I want to trade around a big move higher that's followed by an equal amount, uh, uh, equal move lower. So they cancel each other out. Big move to the upside, followed by a big move back down to the price level from where that move higher started. Um, and that's uh, the first portion of the S&P 500 one day reading for Jan uh, for March 14th, 2022. Stay tuned for the second portion, which is the pattern recognition took 22 years to develop. I'll see you guys in a minute. This is the S&P 500 one day reading for March 14th, 2022. It's currently March 4th, 10, 14 p.m. So the four, March 14th for the S&P, we have uh, a really good a trade opportunity to cash in, roll some options, possibly open some new positions. Um, it looks like there's a breakout, but it's canceled out. It's uh, nullified somehow because it has no correlators in the timeline. <clears throat> um, trade opportunity looks like right around the open in the pre-market, right around the open. We, uh, 
we meet an important price level uh, signified by the truce card here at the open and then we move sideways um, with some bullish rotation well really just some sideways rotation um, in, in roughly the first half hour but then there's a prominent move to the upside um, somewhere roughly between 10 and 11 um, there's a, like a really on the chart it's a notable move to the upside um, which continues into roughly 12 o'clock trade opportunity there trade opportunity it looks like uh, somewhere there between 10 and uh, between 11 and 12 there's a crest and we fall pretty hard from that due to some headwinds um, roughly 12 to 1 so that trade opportunity is probably right around here in the middle of it, right around 12 o'clock but in any case um, from 12 to 1 we have uh, sideways fluctuations with a downward trend turns into more uh, more notable, more uh, severe decline of flight to safety between roughly one and two, and even more so uh, into the tower card, really sharp drop um, between roughly uh, between roughly two and three o'clock. That also marks a significant trade opportunity, and it's also a correlator. The, the it, it meets with if you look at the one month overview spread for the eleventh. Eleventh and the fourteenth, so the eleventh is right on, on that Friday. So the fourteenth is the next day, and we have here right at the end of the. Uh, that, so I know it's more significant. It, it's a significant drop, guys. There's a trade opportunity at this low, um, and then we have some sideways fluctuations with a bullish trend. Um, but in the post market and overnight, we fall pretty hard. Um, something unforeseen takes place and we fall really really hard in the pre in the uh, post market overnight preview um, for the 14th there's a there's quite a bit of volatility we we meet a important resistance level and then there's a volatility that picks up as we move lower um, but there's also a higher high or the same high as today um, or higher high for tomorrow we shall see behavior to create the high for the 14th was a fast sudden move higher in the midst of a decline um, and the behavior around the low uh, hmm, interesting okay so the behavior on the low takes place after the, the completion of a bullish trend so there's a low right here it looks like uh, be right in the 12 to 1 ish area and then another low here between roughly 2 ish and 3 ish all right guys that's uh, March 14 2022 uh, let me know how you do guys love to hear about it I uh, really uh, appreciate the support um, yeah guys um, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and uh, oh and Shout out to Philip D'Souza. I hope I said your last name right, man. Really appreciate the support. We got some more shout outs going out to people that are really active and, and, and really showing us support. So much appreciated. Um, and thank you, man. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow.